Trump breaking news today. Disregard for Taylor Swift, this week, pornographic photographs of Taylor Swift including AI went viral on social media, drawing attention to both a growing problem with technology and the centuries-old phenomenon of plain sexism. Swift has become a topic of conversation due to a series of embarrassing, sexually explicit photos that she appears in, despite the fact that she did not pose for any of them. This comes at a time when her career is soaring and she is dominating pop culture, pictures made by AI software in response to text commands were used to make the images. You don't need anyone's permission to do this. The program needed to make these pictures is easily accessible, some of the swift AI photographs that went viral showed her in an NSFW pose during a Kansas City Chiefs game, presumably in reference to her rumored affair with the team's tight end, Travis Kelsey. Celeb Jihad, an artificial intelligence celebrity porn website, was the source of the indecent photographs on January 15. This week, they became viral on X, formerly Twitter, garnering millions of views and prompting heated debates that ultimately led to the suspension of the accounts involved. Swift is reportedly considering legal action following the removal of the photographs from X. Newsweek has emailed Swift in an effort to get a statement from the artist. Although the problem of such images overwhelming public spaces has not yet been adequately addressed by the legal system, that may change in the future. The federal offense of non-consensual sharing of digitally altered pornographic photos was revived on Tuesday by two MPs. The Preventing Deepfakes of Intimate Images Act was initially introduced by New York Democrat Joseph Morell in May 2023. Morell stated that the bill was intended to protect the right to privacy online amid a rise of artificial intelligence and digitally manipulated content. New Jersey Republican Tom Keen has now joined him as a co-sponsor to A.S. Sarah Klein of the California law firm Manley. Stewart and Finaldi told Newsweek, what happened to the musician should never happen to any woman. Klein is one of several who are supporting Swift's complaint. In its most basic form, it is abuse. It would be wise for Taylor to pursue legal action, Swift may win her case in court in a few months, but her critics will likely continue to view her as nothing more than a sex object. Even without AI, this kind of torture has been inflicted on innumerable prominent women before her challenging prominent women this sort of sexualization is unfortunately common as a means of humiliating or otherwise attempting to discipline high-profile women, said Jeffrey R. Dudas, Ph.D a political science professor at the University of Connecticut, according to Newsweek. Think about how many times this exact argument has been thrown at New York Rep. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, even by Republicans in Congress, according to Dudas, Swift has encountered problems with fans who have identified with worlds unrelated to her music. And some of these people, including some women, have shown their apparent dislike by making fun of the celebrity. The timing of this episode, according to Dudas, is not a coincidence. Taylor has been under fire from conservatives for her quite mild political advocacy as well as her informal affiliation with the NFL, which infuriates a certain type of person who sees football as a symbol of traditional masculinity. Every instance of this kind of shame and punishment stems from a realized fear of danger, and not from the women specifically but from the values they uphold most notably the autonomy and agency of women, deepfake image-based sexual abuse matches the historic patterns of sexual exploitation and abuse faced by women, stated Amanda Meniame, an advisor for digital law and rights at Equality Now, in an interview with Newsweek. There is a continuum between the offline and online forms of sexual exploitation and abuse. Both of these forms of violence are interconnected and contribute to the systematic oppression of women that is founded on gender inequality. Numerous female celebrities had their actual naked photos stolen from their compromised Apple iClouds and made public in 2014, including Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and Cara Delevingne. Some others thought the pictures couldn't have gotten out if they hadn't been shot. The celebs and others opposed the idea, arguing that the famous should have the same right to privacy as everyone else, people started looking for Kamala Harris's name with phrases like nude, bathing suit, and bikini while she was running for vice president in 2020, only because she debated then-incumbent Mike Pence, in a study published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology. 133 participants were asked to rate Sarah Palin, 
the 2008 vice presidential candidate, on a scale from fully human to less competent based on how much emphasis was placed on her physical attractiveness. It also reduced the likelihood that volunteers would support the 2008 presidential ticket of John McCain and Sarah Palin.